friends namaste today we'll be learning various exercise that you can do with the strap if you don't have this strap you can even do with a towel or a skipping rope so let us see what are the exercise that can be done with the help of the strap so the first exercise Come in any sit-in position. You can sit in Vajrasan or Sukhasan, cross-legged position. Hold the strap at some more distance than your shoulder level. Now, we have to take this strap up and slowly down. We'll start with very gentle exercise. Again, stretch it up. Slowly come down. Slowly up, slightly go behind your head, come back, see that your elbows remain straight, don't bend your elbows, again slowly go behind, come back, one more time again, take the strap, see that you don't bend your elbows, slightly go behind and come back. Now we take the strap completely behind. So you take it one and then slowly, slowly, slowly drop your hands down behind. Here, take care then when you take your hands down and when you lift your hands up, your elbows should not bend. If your elbows are bending, then try to increase the distance of the bed. For example, if you hold it very near and you don't have that shoulder opening or shoulder flexibility, then you might, there is a tendency that you bend your elbows this way. So you don't have to bend your elbows. If your elbows are bending this way, you need to lengthen or spread your hands far and then you take your strap down. Again, when you take your strap up, see that your elbows are straight. I will show you the sideways. Your back should be straight. This is a very good exercise for opening and strengthening your shoulders. Slowly. Again, the same way. Come back. Again. Take your strap up. Slowly down. Again, up. See that you go very slowly without any jerks. If you are finding slightly difficult, then try to increase the length of the strap. Try to take your hands far from the strap. Initially, if you find it difficult, try to do with more distance. As and when you increase this practice, your shoulders will be opened up and then slowly you can Decrease the distance between your hands. One more time. Straight up. Pull it down all the way. Again, slowly stretch it up, up, up. And pull it down. Yes. Now, the second exercise is where you have to go only behind. That is only you will target this region from here till here. Again, lift it up, take it behind, again, lift it up, take it behind, lift it up. Again, here you have to see that your elbows don't bend. I'll show you again from the side, only this much distance. Lift it up, again, lift it up, bring it down and up. Very good exercise for your upper back also along with your shoulders a very good exercise for your upper back one more time yes slowly bring your belt in front yes and now we'll move to the third exercise where you hold this belt take it up and here you can bend your elbows. Take it behind as much as you can. Keep your elbows bent. 
again straight you have to take your strap behind that is it is working on your back your neck your shoulders and your full spine have a smiling face again down and up see that your spine is straight again down and up one more time down and up and now we we'll go sideways diagonally that is you take this is my left hand so you take your left hand down 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 behind straighten the elbow and the upper hand that is the right hand my right hand is up that will remain bent again take your strap here you are not increasing or decreasing the length of the strap you are just bending your elbows now here my right hand will be straight left hand bent again take your hands up now right hand bent left hand straight we can go continue your practice i can show you the sideways or i can show you from slightly from behind this way again take a strap up and we move down one hand is straight one hand is bent same slowly come up slowly down left hand is straight sorry left hand is bent right hand is straight one more time and down okay now you will we will go for the side practice so again hold the strap and try to push yourself this way you can keep your neck straight just push it this way your both elbows try to keep it straight again come back and move on your sides come back again move on your side very good stretch on your spine as well as on your sides gently we move on to the other side slightly the hand that remains up there would be slight bend of your elbows you can see that my right elbow is slightly bent but the hand that goes down that should remain straight come up move on the side come up the same way we move on the sides come up this is my left side come up and slowly towards my right side come up we can practice this exercise in standing position also so i will show you all this exercise in standing position also so now let us do these exercise in standing position you can keep shoulder level distance between both your legs and you take this strap at the comfortable distance take it up and we will be moving on to the left side first you will push your right side hip the hip right side stretch it again take it in front and same the other side again come in middle and stretch yourself on the side come on right side left side yes very good again right side 
very good. Left side, push your hip right side. One more last time. Now push your hip to the left side. And come back. Yes. And now increase the distance between both your legs. First, you will make your spine, that is your torso, parallel to the floor. Your spine is just parallel to the floor. Now, take your hands with the strap all the way behind. And when you come up, you come here. Again, drop your body down and take the strap up. Or, if you don't want to move the abdomen, uh, your spine movements, you can just lift it down and lift it up. Look in front, yes. Again, take your strap down and again, take your strap up. Again. Here also, you need to take care that you don't bend your elbows. Take it down. Again, up. Slowly down. It gives not only a good stretch on your spine, your hands, but here it gives a very nice stretch for your calf and your hamstrings. Very good. We go for one more round. Again, up and down. Good. And now, from here, we again move sideways. So, sideways is you remain same in the forward fold. And then, move to the this way. This is the left side. Straight. Keep the strap straight. And see that both your elbows are also straight. Your, this is my right hand. So place the right hand right in middle of both your legs and stretch it. Look up. Come in the center. It's the same distance. Left hand down, right hand up. Same. Lift it up. Come back. Go up. Very good. Again, come in center. Move up. Come in center. Again, right side. Yes. And slowly come back. Take both your feet together. And now, we will go for the warrior pose. Here we'll combine the two exercises together, the warrior pose and the triangle pose, the trikonasan and virbhadrasan. So here you take your strap straight. You will need, yes, you need to straighten both your hands and straight your knees and go down. Look up. Again, coming up, go down, warrior pose. See that the leg that is behind should be straight. Again, straighten the right knee and bend right side down. Look up. Bend. This is your warrior pose. Straighten, move on to the three corners. Pyramid pose. One more time and slowly go down. Yes. Now take your legs together. Yes. And now we'll go for the other two uh, asanas or the exercise. That is first is your high lunge and then it will be the low lunge. So since we are practicing everything on the right side. Let us take your right leg in front. Left leg is behind. Now, the left toe would be pointing the same right side. And your left heel would be up. When you bend down, first I will be showing you what is high lunge. And then we will practice with the strap. So, the right knee needs to be bent. 
it should be 90 degrees your knee and ankle should be straight see that your knee does not go front it should be straight and the leg that is behind should be kept straight don't bend the left the left leg is behind don't bend the left knee so this is known as the high lunge now we we'll practice this with the strap so again your same take the distance between your hands now bend the knee take it up again straight take the strap behind and come in this high lunge and back again the leg that is behind should be straight again come back now come back high lunge see that your spine is straight come back down We'll go for low lunge. Here, what you can do is the leg that is behind, left leg. You can bend the left knee down. So you'll come in this pose. The left knee is down, and now you can point the left toe outside and try to stretch. Try to press the hip down. Now you take the same distance between your hands and same way. Push it forward behind. You take it here. Again back and front. Back and front. And as you can see that the leg that is in front, the right knee, it should not bend. I can show you in the front side also. This is the right knee. It should remain straight, and the left leg is stretched behind and straight. Take the strap up all the way and come back. Okay, behind, front, behind. Front. One more time. Behind and front. Yes. Slowly, you can come back, and now you can relax in the child pose. That is, you can sit in Vajrasana. Both hands up. Inhale, exhale, and up. Stretch your hands in front and place your forehead down. And relax. Take five, six deep breaths. Here you will not only relax your breath, your arms, but also you will relax your thigh muscles. So very slowly go into child pose and relax. Thank you friends for watching this on my channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and comment in the section below. Thank you.